Hello everyone, it's me and I, it's Jan Schan from the Florida New York Stock Exchange inside Burst Hoff, kicking some butt, taking some names later. This market is fascinating once again. We saw the market go up and down hundreds and hundreds of points, cross through the even money side, go from red to green easily 40 or 50 times today. I believe we had a 450 point swing from up 130 to down 280 points multiple times today. What is exactly going on is fascinating. So the market is focusing on the tech sector. Amazon, some news that Donald Trump was going after uh, Mr. Bezos. Stock went down 100 points. That dragged the whole lot with it. So you've got the Facebook and the hair all about that. You've got Washington teetering over some crazy weird technical uh, tech focus, Twitter, madness, aggressive behavior that's out of control, and that's affecting it. And we've got FANG, the whole tech sector, the Facebooks, the Googles, the Amazons and whatnot, trading in massive dislocations to the rest of the marketplace. So that's obviously trade, you know, look, that was the surging force of this market in so big of a way. The market cannot go higher with tech on the downside. It is a fragile, cracking of the tectonic plates, tectonic plates, giddy up on that. Einstein, I'm not that schmott. So it seems like that's initiating a real shift in money. You know, we've got markets selling off hard, rallying back hard, definitely trading against the 200 day moving average on the S&P cash as a support. So when markets get this way, they trade in the technical level, they do move in a huge volatile way, Fear is definitely gripping the market to a certain extent because there is so much money in tech. The market cannot forge higher without tech not involved. So we're seeing shifting allocations of funds in a big way. We're seeing huge moves in tech. We're seeing money shifting. I kind of just feel like it's really an allocation of, of portfolios that's changing around. You know what? We had a market that was going up, 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 no matter what. People were on board, they were long, the short guys were getting hurt, the long guys were making money, and nobody wanted to be the first guy to the table on the sell side. But now, obviously, as we've seen over the last couple of weeks between tariffs, trade wars, raising interest rates, tech sector reversal, madness and turmoil in Washington, we're seeing those plates crack. The outer surface of this earth, the earth that is the market, okay, the earth that is that, 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 certainty and trust in the Dow Jones Industrial Average, the S&P and the NASDAQ is starting to crack. The tectonic plates are shifting. And what happens after that is when we see a little bit of a follow through on the sell side with that, and a sector can easily take down this market as it did on the upside, you're gonna see allocations come out of the marketplace. People are gonna start selling that and getting into something else. So that certainty of forward aggressive movement in the markets across the board has been cracked and has been broken. It's a trust thing, it's an uncertainty thing, it's a tech solo thing, it's a reversal, it's turmoil in Washington, it's interest rates, it's all a lot of stuff. So the financials are in rotation, the techs are definitely out of favor for the moment, and huge funds, huge monetary funds are coming in and out of this market, right? Emotional sell side for sure, some aggressive headline sell side for sure in the tech sector, some smart money buying it, trading against technical numbers. Net, net, it's a lot of to do about something. 900 million shows on the tape. Basically, amazingly enough, it was about 500 million on each side. So it was a 50-50 split on the buy and sell volume. Crude off an odd lot, Russell off an odd lot, Spies off 70, Gold off 20. It's a strange tape, it's a strange tape and people are worried about it. I'm not that worried, net net at the end of the day, we're still at around 24,000, but money is shifting hands. There's fear in the marketplace. Tomorrow is the end of the quarter, the end of the month. People taking profits, people locking in profits. We'll see what happens tomorrow inside Verstop, NYSE Einstein, I love you all, see you tomorrow.